Hey, welcome to this tutorial brought to you by gfxcube.net. If you followed with our last tutorial, you would have seen how to design this template in Photoshop step by step. If you haven't and you wish to follow this tutorial and learn how to code this template, you could find the PSD for this site right here at gfxcube.net. We're going to go ahead and start by coming up here and we're going to grab our slice tool. And basically this is telling Photoshop how to separate all the images on our site. So I'm going to start off with my nav bar and I'm going to go ahead and just slice a rectangle for my home. Alright, right here is my first image. Photoshop is going to make this a button on its own. This is home. I'm going to do the same for about. This is my next button. Also artwork. I'm going to zoom in just to move this over. And last, I'm going to do contact. Alright, now that I have my four buttons, I'm going to label each of these so I know what they are in Photoshop or when I go to code them. I'm going to name this one home. And this is going to be the name of the image when I transfer this into the coding. So home. About artwork and contact. Alright, now that I have all these labeled, I'm next going to go ahead and just select my banner. This is going to create this as an image. And when you slice and Photoshop, we're going to actually have Photoshop code this for us for the most part. It's going to transfer this whole site how we slice it into coding. So this banner is going to be right here in our coding. So I'm going to have this as an image right here. Next I'm going to go ahead and grab this tr our tree. I'm just going to have it come up to the top right here. And I'm going to go ahead and have it even with this. Now I don't like this right here. Like I'd rather have this all evened out. So I'm going to go ahead to my tree layer right here. And I'm going to grab my eraser. And I have a nice square brush down here. I'm just going to go ahead and come right across and I'm just going to clean that off. Alright, so I now have my tree layer. Actually, this needs to come up. So I'm going to grab my slice select tool. That allows you to edit your previous slices. Um, next, I'm going to hide my banner because I'm actually going to show you a nice trick with that. So I'm just going to hide that and the border for it. <clears throat> Alright, we have these auto slices. I'm not going to want these, so I'm going to have my slice select tool and I'm just going to double click these. And I'm going to change the slice type to no image. That will have all these auto slices that I don't want be just no image. Next, I'm going to code my content area or slice it. And I'm just going to take this whole piece. I'm not going to have these as images. I'm actually going to show you a trick to make this whole area as code instead of having it as images it makes it a lot lighter on your server you generally want to have as little images as possible changing the footer to no image as well and my content to no image I don't want these images I'm going to show you how to code these yourself and this right side has no image alright I mean, just make sure you want to go back see this slice right here it doesn't touch all the way so going to want to make sure this comes all the way up. This can cause problems in your coding later on, so you want to ensure your slices do not overlap each other. And you want to ensure they take up every single space possible. And even if so, since they're all labeled, you can go back and count. One, two, three, and just make sure you have all your numbers you should. Eleven slices is what I used in this tutorial. Now that I have all my slices done for my site, I'm going to save this to have it coded. So to do this, you're going to go to File, and I believe this is only with Photoshop CS3 and 4. I don't believe you can do this with CS2, so you may need an upgrade. Go to File, Save for Web and Device, and you're going to get this menu come up. And basically what this is showing is all your different slices, and <clears throat> it's going to be the image quality of your slices. 
when you have it saved. Down here, see I have my tree selected, and it's showing it how big the file size is going to be for this image, and how long it will take to load at somebody's internet speed going 56.6 kilobytes per second. Now, you generally don't want this too high because the longer it takes to load, the longer somebody's going to be sitting at your site waiting for all your images to load, which is not good. So what we want to try and do is get this number as low as possible while having our image quality still look good. So with this selected, you could come over here and you could just try out different qualities. And I'm seeing PNG seems to be still a nice quality and it brings it down to six seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a PNG now. Next I'm going to do my home button, which it's only one second, but the file size is a little bigger than it probably has to be. Or not. I guess we're leaving it as a JPEG, which is alright. Um, you can also lower the quality on this JPEG, which will make the file size go down, but also you can see my image quality goes down. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave these at 100, because one second is not bad. This banner is at 7 seconds, which is a lot more than it needs to be. I'm going to leave it as a JPEG because that's keeping the nice quality. And I'm going to go ahead and try and lower this a little bit. See, I can have it down at 79% of the quality. It still looks good, and it lowered it by 3 seconds of the load time, so that's really good. These other slices that we made no image, we're not going to need to worry about them. Photoshop will still show them as if they are images, but we have them set to be no image. Same with the content area, I'm not even going to worry about that because this is, right now, I know I have it set as no image. And all I'm doing to get this menu to come up is to double click so I can see that these are still no image. Once you have your slices set and your image quality set to how you want, you're going to go ahead and click save down here. And you're going to get your save menu. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. And you want to have the save type as HTML and images. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and just click save. And it'll load and bring you back to your Photoshop menu. I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. And you can see right here I have my HTML file that I just saved and my image folder. And you can see my home, my about button, my artwork, contact, all this, my banner. Broke all that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this in Dreamweaver. <clears throat> Alright, with Dreamweaver open, you can see all the coding you have. Um, <clears throat> you don't need this. It's just showing Photoshop sliced it. One thing we will need to create is a style.css sheet, which I will explain to you later on in this tutorial. But I'm going to go ahead and create that right now. I'm just going to create a new text document, and you want to name this style.css. Then we'll create our CSS sheet. Um, if you're wanting to see the design, just go ahead and click design, and you can see how it has our stuff set up. Here's our no image content right here, no image footer and our other no image parts of our site. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create these into links. Now to do this, I'm going to click on home, and I'm going to go back to code, and you see it has my home button selected, images slash home dot jpeg. Now to turn this into a link, you've probably all seen this before, it's very simple. I'm going to click here, just do a href, and this is our link, so if we wanted this to be http slash oursite.com slash home, and this will take us to our home. And I'm going to close this tag just by putting it like that, and right now we have our link. It's telling it the link is going to right here. And we're going to want to close this over here, which is now making this whole entire thing a link. So I'm going to press Control S to save. So I'm going to go ahead and do example.com. Put this down. When I 